here's how we start the siphon. First, let me get the snails out. All right, so I'd just rather not kill the snails. Again, there's some real tiny ones in there. I'm gonna leave those in there because they're just gonna get back in there again. So then we put this down in the water. We've got our piece of clear airline tubing. If this is long, that's better because you're gonna be sucking water through it. And once that water gets in there, you wanna be able to stop before it gets to your mouth. Uh, we're gonna tilt this sideways so all the air can travel up and be in one corner once you start filling it. And both ends of the siphon must be under that water level. So we're gonna take our air. One end is going to go into your mouth to suck the air out. This other end is going to fish up through that tube and stop in that corner. All right, we are in the corner. And now I'm going to suck on this end and I'm going to kind of move it around a little bit to make sure I get all of that air while also watching to make sure I'm not sucking water out of the tank into my mouth. All right, I've just, I could see the water filling up the tubes and I felt water, you know, hit the end of the tube. Now I'm going to kind of suck very gently and tap around a little bit to kind of make sure I get all the air that's up there. And as I'm sucking, I'm not feeling, you can kind of feel as air is coming through the tube versus water. I'm not feeling any, so I'm gonna take this out. And when we tilt it like this, we can see, okay, great. Let's take this over here. We can see there is no air trapped in there. That's why I have clear tubing right here. Okay, there's a tiny little bubble. That tiny little bubble is not going to bother me at all. I mean, it might bother me, but it's not a problem at all. So we're going to leave it there. And I'm going to put the other strainer back on so the bigger snails don't get trapped. And the smaller snails can get through the strainer. But the, the smaller snails aren't really a problem. It's the big snails might go up in there. And if a few of them die or their shells get stuck up in there, and that creates a restriction for the flow, then we're overflowing. So there we are. I hope that made sense or cleared up the questions. I had someone ask about it, uh, how to start that siphon, and really uh, that's an important part of that information. So again, you stick a piece of airline tubing up and suck the air out of it. Uh, if you've got a pre-made, like a bent piece of clear PVC or something, that's one piece, same concept, just get the air hose up to the highest point uh, a couple more things about doing these airlifts. One benefit to having an airlift is, um, you know, there's no pump in the system. Pumps sometimes with the spinning propeller can, um, you know, if it's sucking up microfauna and they're being propelled through, uh, that little uh, propeller can damage things like scud and fry. And while we're looking at these newly set up microfauna tanks, both of them, I've started removing out some of the hair algae and drying it and I've put in a little bit of guppy grass. The guppy grass in here has kind of gone wild. I always like seeing that. But we're going to let them settle in for a good little while. I'm about to add some gravel to them to create more habitat and uh, probably a little more leaf litter. Um, I may connect these four together and I may connect those three together and just have each shelf connected together. After I feel like some of these creatures has, have become established, I'll probably bring in some fish to put in here temporarily just to pick at some of uh, the algae. And again, they their waste is going to be of great benefit to the microfauna. So the fish are also part of the food web and they are um, you know, just as important to the system sometimes. Now they will, if you put a lot of fish, like let's say you put you know, 20 uh, guppies in there, for example. They're going to go through, pick at every little inch, especially if you're not feeding them, put them in there for a week or two, then bring them back out and let that system kind of recover and boom again in population because all that guppy waste will have boosted their, you know, giving them a food source. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.